You probably have seen this girl, haven't you? So no matter if you want to make big money of us nerds with a fictional girlfriend, or if you want to create your own virtual romantic partner, this is the place where you can learn it. Before we dive into the code, I'm gonna show you how the application actually works. So this is the front end of our application. You can see there is a nice little background. And here we've got one field where we can enter the other person's name. So let's say we want the name to be Sarah. We can pick an age range, let's say 31 to 35, hair color, blonde, body type, athletic, eye color, blue, hair type, let's say curly, skin color, medium, ethnicity, European, gender, female. I guess most of us who are gonna use an app will create a female romantic partner. So let's click on submit. And this will now make a request to OpenAI, to the DALI API and create an image. This will take a few seconds. And after that, we will be routed to our chat interface. So this is the output. This is our virtual partner we created. Hi, I'm Sarah. What do you want to talk about? We can see, we can now ask questions. How, how was your day? And our bot will now respond. Here we can see we've got this icon on the left and on the right, the image which was created will be used. So. Hi there, my day was pretty good so far. How about you? How has been your day? So we can again type something like, I am fine. What are your hobbies? And then the bot will answer accordingly. I enjoy staying active. I like hiking, practicing yoga and so on. So we can see we've got a nice, interesting person here on the other side. So next step is we take a deep dive at the code so you can create um, this application on your own. Otherwise you can just copy the code and play around with it. Okay, I'm in VS Code and you can see two folders, front-end and back-end. So just my two cents here for up. If you know any JavaScript and Python, you should always separate the application into two distinct services and not use something like Streamlit. It's just easier to make a distinct front-end prettier and easier to maintain the code in two services. If you have ambition to work as developer, you anyway have to learn it that way. So let's first dive into the front end code, but don't worry, we won't make a deep dive in Angular here. I will just show you how we can collect all of the items we need to create our image. So this is inside the Create AI application. We can see that we've got a component with some submit form, and here we've got form data. And here we can see these are the options. So this is the age range, this is the hair color, body type, and so on and so on. So this is where we save all of our uh, values for our AI. And the values of this HTML fields will be stored in the component.typescript file. And here you can see this is our form data. So it starts with an empty name, empty age, empty hair color, and so on. This data will be sent to our backend. So this is happening here. We send this value to our backend. And if we have a look at our backend, we can see we've got a fast API service, and this matches exactly the values in our front end. So name, age, hair color, body type, and so on. So we use this Pydenti class in our application. So we've got the submit form, and this expects as input this form data. We now use the values of this form data as prompt. So we've got a prompt, so a person, so many years old of their gender, with that hair color, body type, and so on and we want the face only, beautiful features, and we want it ultra realistic. And that prompt will be passed to DALI 3, which will create an image of that size, quality standard because it's a little bit cheaper, and then we create an image URL. So we directly use the image URL and send it back to the front end. Let's now have a look at our front end where we expect that data. So we go back to source, app, and then we've got another service and this is the chat UI or another component, this is the chat UI. And here we've got some information we need. So we've got the image data, which stores the URL. We've got user input. We've got all of the messages we want to send to OpenAI. We've got the AI name, the user image, and also the partner image. This is just a fallback image. And then we use that in combination to create a system message. So we've got the AI character, you are that name. You are an engaging and attentive partner with warm and friendly personality. Engage in a conversation like a caring partner would do, ask about user's day, and so on and so on. So from all of that information, we create our system message. So OpenAI expects 
this in a dictionary or object in JavaScript with role, which is system and content. Here we've got all the information as content and this sets the behavior of our bot. Now we need user and AI messages and this will all be handled there. You can see this is role user. We've got our new user input and then we create our final object which contains system messages and user and AI messages. We store that in our messages array and then send everything to our backend. Now, if we go back to our backend, we can see we've got a very, very simple endpoint, which is the chat endpoint. And here we take in another pedantic model, which is chat request. We can see this is also inherit from base model. And here we've got a list of messages which have got a role and content attribute too. And this will all be sent to OpenAI and the result is sent back to the front. And again, we can have a look at our UI. So does the chat UI and we can see that in our chat component, we store all of the messages here in that list. And this list will be used to display the complete conversation here in our HTML. So in this code, we can use special Angular directives, but like I said, it doesn't really matter how to do that with Angular. This is not about Angular. You could also use React, Vue, or Svelte, or whatever front end you want to. But in general, I said, you want to split your front end and your back end into two different services. Okay, that was the project. So please let me know if you liked that more high level overview over such a project, or if you want a real deep dive into Angular, HTTP request, state management, and so on please let me know that in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye-bye.